I can't find this property anywhere on this map. Hey Susan, are you sure your mother really had this house? She said the lawyer told her it was down this road. Yes, on a road that's not on this map. Can we just support her, Joey? I mean, I feel badly enough that it takes her mother's funeral to get us all together. I sure do miss the good old college days. Right, Tanya? You and Joey sure had a lot of fun. Look out, Jeff! Are we there yet? Where are y'all headed to? We don't take kindly to strangers around here. Is there a house at the end of this road? Ain't no house you want to go to. Nothing but death down there. A whole family killed by a pack of wild jackal dogs 20 years ago. Only one youngin survived. Are you sure this is the same house? Damn right I'm sure. And it's cursed. They say there's some creature out there. And he's taking critters and folks. Well, thank you for your helpful warning. Yeah, you were great in that movie Deliverance, by the way. Are you lost? No, but my dog Winnie is. I've been looking for her everywhere. Why are you here? Oh, I lost my mother recently and she left me that house over there. I lost my daddy too. They said he was crazy and sent him to a special hospital. Then they lost him, just like my dog. Do you like dogs? No, actually I'm afraid of dogs. When I was a young girl, I had a bad experience with a dog. See? I'm sorry, but you don't have to be afraid of dogs anymore. But there is something else you have to be afraid of. Hey, Susan. Who are you talking to? This young girl here. She lost her dog. What young girl? This place is adorable. Hey, you think if I call it a pizza, it'll be here in 30 minutes? <laughs> well, at least we can get the party started with some drinks, huh? Yes. All right, let's see. Ooh, a Rocky Mountain beer for Jeff. And a fancy wine cooler for Tanya. Yes. And the true flavor of Mexico oh. for me. <laughs> Susan? No, thank you. Nothing for me. I just want to take a look around and see if I can find some answers. Come on, Joey. Let's go and look around. <laughs> Just like old times, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Remember the parties? God, can't believe how crazy we were back then. Well, why can't we be crazy now? I always try to think for you. Hey, <laughs> Jeff, you're such a jerk. Hey guys, come see what I found. These old newspaper clippings talk about the family that was attacked years ago. There was one young son who survived. And there's talk of strange jackal creature and missing dogs and even people. It's crazy. No wonder my mother never talked about this place. I wonder what happened to the son. What who would have raised him? What kind of sick person would harm dogs? You know, the jackal in the Bible was a symbol of loneliness and abandonment. Maybe it's connected. That's baloney. Country bumpkins and lonely killer jackals. I don't believe in any of that creature feature nonsense. And what about that young girl and her crazy father? <coughs> what was that? It came from outside. We have to go and call the police and wait for them.
them inside. Wait, we can't just stay here and do nothing. We've got to find out who made that scream. No. They might be in trouble. Good idea. You and Susan should go up to the house and search. Then me and Tanya, we'll, we'll check over here. Okay. Oh. What is this? Look, it, it's probably just a bear looking for food or something. Look, don't worry, Susan. I'll protect you. You are so sweet, Joey. And you know I appreciate everyone coming along. I don't have anyone else to turn to. But we need to go inside and call the police now. What is this place? It's a garage in the middle of nowhere. Let's look around. No, you stay here. I'm just gonna take a quick look inside. I'll be right back. Okay. I wonder if Jeff and Tanya have found anything yet. Hello? Hello? The phone's dead. I'll go up back and check on the phone box. It's probably just a loose wire. Lock the door behind me. I'll be right back. It seems you aren't so lost. Maybe I like dogs after all. Come on, let's go home. <laughs>